And welcome to the channel. When you power up your computer or you try to power up your computer, is it sometimes hard to get it to actually start? And when it does start, do you see something like this? Usually something about how the system settings have been reset to default or the real time clock is not working properly or something to that effect? Well, if that's the case, we have the answer. It's a very inexpensive battery that's in your computer, which is died. Super easy to change, however. Called a 2032, a CR2032 in particular. Fortunately, you can buy a big pack of these on Amazon. Geez, I bought this one a few years ago and I think I paid something like $10 for six or eight of them. So they're pretty cheap. And that gets to a good point, by the way. This is completely unsponsored. Dell hasn't paid me anything. Panasonic hasn't paid anything. And Amazon hasn't paid anything. Get the battery wherever you want. Your local stores will sell it. And let's show you how to change it. Not that hard. You can do it. First thing you need to do is unplug the computer and get into it. So that we have lots of videos on for different types of uh, computers. In this case, though, we're going to be doing it with a, well, this is a Dell all-in-one, hence the AIO designation there. Because yours is almost certainly different, we're going to speed through this. The point is, take the back off your laptop or pull the side off of your PC or if it's an all-in-one like this, you get a little bit more work to do, but not very much. Okay. Now, just before we show you how to change that battery, which is uber simple, uh, you can see here that this fan, this is the fan for the CPU, basically in, in your computer, in any fan, blow it out. If you can't, uh, you know, if you don't have a can of compressed air around or something like that, just use your mouth and literally blow on it. Just go and that will help. I've got compressed air, I'm gonna use that. There it is. Okay, so the battery, not very challenging. It just pops out, so there's a little clip at the back, push on the clip, and the battery will just pop up, and bingo, you can change it. Not very hard. And you might ask, is it always a CR232? Pretty much, and when you're putting it in, uh, the top is positive, the bottom is negative. You don't really need to know that. The bottom line is make sure that the larger side is up. And you simply put it in and that's it. Congratulations, you're a hero. All right, let's try to power it up. It'll still be difficult to power up because we just changed the CMOS battery or the sometimes called a BIOS battery, or I suppose now you could call it the UEFI battery. Uh, and uh, the things are screwed up in there. In particular, what's wrong is the system clock. And you think, does the system clock really make that much of a difference? Yep. Okay, flashing light. Let's try it again. Press and hold to turn it off. There it's off. Yay. Well, that's a bit unexpected. Usually the battery is still, usually the dates and things are so screwed up in there, it's still a problem. So let's go down and uh, go back into the BIOS and see what it comes up with. On a Dell, you press F2 to get into the BIOS. So I'm just going to press F2 over and over again. Okay, it's already corrected the date. Now it must have pulled that from when we just booted up into Windows, but now, from now on, that date should be should remain accurate because we just replaced the BIOS battery. So yay, that's a win for us. Hey, if you found this video useful, please click like. Subscribe is always appreciated as well, and you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below, and if we don't get back to you, somebody else sure will, because it's YouTube and everybody has an opinion. All right, have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.